Hello, BookTube Nation. I'm Sam here again with A Bear and a Bee Books. And today I have a recommendation video. Right. So, the Fairy Tale Fawn is coming up again. It's our third edition, and I have some recommendations for you. Now, the way that I've structured my recommendation Fairy Tale Fawn video is I'm gonna go through the prompts and give you a couple options or an option for each one, and I'll also link down my Fairy Tale playlist, and you can check that out, and maybe there's some other ideas in there for you. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first prompt is Thumbelina to a reader retelling under 250 pages, and for this one, I have two options for you. The first one I would like to recommend is one I just recently finished, Beast Keeper by Kat Hellison. And um, I really enjoyed this one. It's a quick one. The ending was a little fast for me. I tend to like more of a denouement, kind of draw out the story a little bit, but that's just personal preference. But I did enjoy it. Um, this is a loose retelling of Beauty and the Beast, but it's definitely a twist. So if you like really faithful retellings this may not be for you but if you're interested in having that fairy tale element but having a different kind of story that could stand on its own this might be a good option for you and the other one i would like to recommend for this is an older favorite of mine and this is mermaid by carolyn turgeon and i really liked this one um it's been a few years since i've read it now yeah this is definitely under 250 pages and if you like the little mermaid even if you like the disney version of the little mermaid um which i love but i would say give this a try it's pretty faithful to the adaptation but you know of course it's a little bit darker than disney but it is really enjoyable and a quick read so it's a good one for a readathon the next prompt is gentle giant and this is to read a retelling over 500 pages so for this one i have quite a few options now these i have <laughs> now these I have to say are just suggestions I haven't actually read any of these but I wanted to give you ones that specifically fit the prompt so in order to find a retelling and the page count I had to just give some suggestions I have three on my physical TBR that fit the prompt so let's start with those the first one is the evil queen by Gina Showalter and this is a new retelling that just came out that's based on the evil queen I believe it's more fantasy um, geared I don't know a whole bunch about this one because of how new it is but it does fit the page count and it does fit the fairy tale thon next is one that I'm sure needs no introduction and that is Crest by Marissa Meyer and also I'll put a picture of winter by Marissa Meyer. These are books three and four, I believe, or, right, because there's one in between that's like a three and a half, or two and a half, three and a half, anyway. This is book three of the Lunar Chronicles. I've only read Cinder, so I need to get to these myself, but since I haven't read Scarlet yet, mm, kind of puts me in the, <laughs> but anyway, if you've read books one and two and you want to read book three, this would be a great one for that challenge. And um, this, of course, is, uh, there are sci-fi retellings about the fairy tales, and this one is about Rapunzel. Next is one I believe that came out last year. I know some people used it for one of our previous fairy tale thons, and that is Stain. And the reason I was interested in this one, this is by A.G. Howard. Um, this one, I believe, is a retelling of um, the Princess and the Pea, which isn't one that you see retold a lot. So um, I read a couple first, like the first paragraph or so, and I thought it sounded interesting. So I'm excited to give this one a try. I also have some other books by this author, so I want to get to this one eventually. Some other recommendations that I don't necessarily have on my shelves, but I found for this particular challenge would be East and West by Edith Pateau. And these both fit the 500 or more page prompt. And um, this, I know, I believe East is about the uh, East of the Sun, West of the Moon, which is a um, myth, folklore, fairy tale that I really enjoy. So that's one I definitely want to get to. Um, I don't have it on my shelves yet, but it's one that I'm looking to purchase. So if you've read it, let me know. Then also, Juliet Marillier has... Um, 
uh, series and it's called Daughter of the Forest and that is book one of the Seven Waters trilogy and I believe the name of that fairy tale is The Six Swans where her brothers are turned into swans and then she has to save them so that's kind of the loose idea of that one. But um, those are some ideas for that prompt for you. So if you've read any of these books, let me know what you think. The next one is If the Shoe Fits to read any retelling from your TBR. So for this one, I picked one I picked up earlier this year. It's been on my TBR forever, so it definitely fits this prompt. And that is Cloaked by Alex Flynn. Now, this is a mashup of a bunch of different fairy tales. The Six Swans is one of the ones featured in this book, and um, I really enjoyed it. It's just a quick little fun book. It has a journey in it, which I love. I love journey books. Um, so I wanted to include this one because it's an older one, and maybe it's one you haven't heard of before. Um, I've read another book by her, which I also enjoyed, and her main one is Beastly, which I haven't read yet, so if you've read that one, let me know. And, and number four is Creature of the Deep, and this is to read any book that features a mermaid, a siren, or a sea creature. Doesn't have to be fairy tale specific. Um, for this one, I have a couple for you. Sirena by Donna Jo Napoli, and this one is a really quick book. Um, this one would also work for Thumbelina prompt, um, but this is more on the myth side, like the Greek myth of mermaids. Um, I read this one a few years ago. It's quick. It's fast. I enjoyed it. Lorelei by Laura Dockrell, and this is just a lot of fun. Um, in this one, I really enjoyed the side characters. There is kind of a band of misfits, and it kind of has that fun charm to it. Um, so I really enjoyed this one. So if you like um, strong side characters and the band of misfit kind of gang um, trope, then I would say to check this one out. I really enjoyed it, and I believe that there's another book that came out um, many years later. I haven't read that one yet, so if you have, let me know. Drown by Esther Dalceno, and this cover, I mean, that's yeah so this book is a twist on it's like a retelling of the little mermaid but it's really dark there are some trigger warnings in this for self-harm so if that hi honey <laughs> so if that is something that you're worried about i would definitely say look into it before trying this one but if you're okay with a little bit more um, darker theming, I did enjoy this one. Um, it's not my favorite of the mermaid retellings that I've read, but if you like the darker um, type stories, then it may be one that you really enjoy. One I think that definitely deserves some more love. This is by Sheila A. Nielsen, and this is called The Forbidden Sea. And this one to me just left me with warm fuzzies. Like it is a sad book because this poor girl goes through so much. But I just remember feeling warm when I finished reading this. Um, it has like that quaint town feeling. And um, this is more just about a little girl who then gets involved with the, um, you know, mysteries of the deep, if you will. Um, whereas the other ones are more steeped in fantasy. I feel that this one is a little bit more realistic. Um, you know, of course there are still mermaids, so, but. Next is Try the Grey Stuff, It's Delicious. So any of these that I'm gonna recommend would work. There you go, all right? <laughs> okay, so the next prompt is A Whole New World, and this is to read either a fairy tale or a retelling with a diverse main character. So for this one, I've selected two. I have one that I just recently finished reading and I really loved. It's called Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, and it has a lot of Asian folklore in it. I really, really loved this. I read it out loud to my daughter. There are some beautiful full page illustrations in here. So if you have little ones at home, this makes a really great read aloud. Um, it's just about a little girl and she goes on a journey to help save her family um, from the lot that they've been given in life and the folklore and myth are woven into her journey. Um, I read somewhere that um, it's loosely based on the author's love of The Wizard of Oz as well, but with Asian myth and folklore, and it was just beautiful, and I highly recommend it. And next, I would like to recommend Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, and this is probably one of my favorite retellings I've ever read. Um, the main character in this is of Jewish descent, 
um, and it is a very loose, if you've read her before, you know what I mean, um, retelling of Rumpelstiltskin, and it's all about family, and it's about um, her challenges in life, and um, it really does showcase um, the differences of culture. Um, I thought that it did that really nicely. Um, from what I've heard, Naomi Novik wrote her fairy tale retellings based on her grandparents' heritage, I believe. I really thoroughly enjoyed this and I highly recommend it. Um, it is not a like traditional retelling. So if you like more, um, you know, very similar to the original, um, I might not suggest this to you, but if you like books that take something you love and make it something new, that's what this is. It was just beautiful. It was atmospheric. Um, I was interested throughout and um, I just, the main thing I remember about this book is how I felt when I read it and just sitting here, I'm getting cold, like talking about it um, and living in Florida, that's actually quite desirable. <laughs> I really recommend this one. It's probably my favorite one I've read yet this year and probably one of my top five I've ever read. So if you like retellings and you like ones that become their own story um, and have really strong female leads and have um, diverse um, characters, I would definitely say give this a try. And then as a bonus, I just wanted to real quickly mention her other book, which is Uprooted. Um, this one is a really loose retelling of Beauty and the Beast. I also thoroughly enjoyed this one. Um, and again, like I said, I believe she wrote about her grandparents' heritage. This one is loosely based on Polish fairy tales and Baba Yaga, as well as the Beauty and the Beast influence. The last prompt is Rags to Riches, but it's the group book prompt. So I wanted to recommend our two previous group books because I thought they were both fabulous. Um, the first one, well the second one actually, and the one we most recently read was A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. And I really enjoyed this. This is again a loose retelling of Beauty and the Beast. This also has a diverse main character. This was a really strong four stars for me. It is going to be a series and I am definitely interested in continuing on with it. Um, I love atmospheric books and this is definitely that. This is one of those books that kind of does the our world into the fantasy world books. So if you like that kind of transition of a normal, hey, I'm a normal girl living a normal life. Woo, I'm in a fantasy world and there are princes and curses and woo, oh my. Um, this might be for you then. I really enjoyed it. And our first group book was Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. I love The Little Mermaid. If you haven't, if you couldn't tell by my recommendations list, lots of mermaid books. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. Um, it is a lot different from the Disney adaptation, but again, the atmosphere, the setting in this one, um, I wasn't a huge fan of the love story in this one, but that didn't take away from my enjoyment of the book. I still really enjoyed it. There is a second one, which I believe is out this month. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's coming out very soon if it hasn't already. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the second book in the series. I remember the ending of this book. Like, I don't want to give any spoilers, but if you read it, you'll know what I mean. Like, it just kind of stayed with me. So, that is all of my fairy tale recommendations. I hope that you will all be able to join us. If you have any questions about more recommendations or anything else that you'd like to know about the fairy tale -a -thon, please let me know down below. Also, you can follow us on Twitter at, at a fairy tale -a and I'm at Bear to Be. I'll leave all this information down below, and please feel free to check out any of my previous videos involving fairy tales. I will leave the playlist link down below. Well, thank you so much for being here with me. To any return subscribers, I want to thank you for reminding me that I'm here, you know? <laughs> Hey, hi. Um, no, but I really do appreciate you joining me. And if you're new, hi, welcome. I'm Sam. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for being here with me today. Farewell for now. Bye-bye.